Hey, this is some important information that I just received and I wanted to share it with you. If you have a PACT Act claim that you need to file or file an intent to file for and you missed the window, the VA today, just now, pushed out information stating the PACT Act deadline for backdated benefits is now August 14th. So you have four more days to get your intent to file filed, um, which would be my suggestion, right? Uh, protect yourself with an intent to file. Don't rush your claim if you haven't got your claim all the way together. So I'm gonna read this to you here real quick. This is uh, really a PSA at this point. So VA extends deadline through Monday for veterans and survivors to apply for PACT Act benefits backdated to August 10th, 2022. So you can receive that additional year of back pay. This is huge. Veterans and survivors who apply or submit their intent to file for PACT Act benefits by 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday, August 14th, 2023, will be eligible to have their benefits backdated to August 10th, 2022, the day that the president signed the PACT Act into law. This is an extension from the original deadline, which was actually yesterday, August 9th, 2023. We encourage all veterans and their survivors to apply or submit their intent to file. If you are not ready to file your claim today, file your intent to file. File your intent to file, takes the pressure off. It gives you an additional year to get your act together, get all your documents together and file that claim. This is really, really important. It buys you that extra time and preserves your effective date, essentially back to August 10th, 2022, which is huge. If you ended up getting, we'll just use easy numbers, to keep it easy for me. If you have zero um, with the VA, no no conditions with the VA and you're filing for the first time and you go from nothing to 100% and you're married with one child, you get approximately $4,000 per month. You would get, if it took, we'll just, to, again, I need to use easy numbers for me. So if you were to file that claim and get 100% rated, and let's say that you filed your intent to file today, you filed your claim in four months and it took the VA six months to complete your claim. That's a 10 month period from today. But you filed your intent to file, which takes you back to 2022, August 10th, another 12 months. So now you have 22 months at $4,000 a month. 4,000 over 10 months is 40,000. 4,000 over 20 months is eighty thousand eighty eight thousand dollars in back pay is what you would receive huge don't miss out on this all right so moving on in here it says veterans and survivors like you submitted eight hundred and forty three thousand four hundred and forty eight packed act specific disability claims since the law went into effect in august uh, of 2022 don't miss out. Apply by Monday to be eligible for the maximum back pay. Very, very, very big. Um, so here they have some additional information here. The PACT Act became law one year ago today. Here, here's how this historic law has already begun to help veterans and survivors get the care and benefits they deserve. Delivering benefits to veterans and their survivors, the VA has delivered more than $1.85 billion in earned PACT Act benefits to veterans and their survivors, increasing veteran access to health care. Since August 10th, 332,252 veterans have enrolled in VA health care, which is nearly 50,000 more enrollees than during the previous year. Screening veterans for toxic exposure, uh, more than 4.1 million veterans have received free 10-minute screenings for toxic exposures from VA under PACT Act, under the PACT Act, a critical step to catching and treating 
potentially life-threatening health conditions as early as possible. Spreading the word to veterans and their survivors, veterans and survivors are applying for their earned benefits at record rates. In this fiscal year, veterans and survivors have submitted 1.95 million total claims including 843,448 PACT Act specific claims, 37% more than last year, and on pace to break an all-time record. Veterans have also submitted 1.65 million intent to file uh, during the, the this fiscal year, 44% more than last year, and also on pace to break an all-time record. Here's the thing. Stick with me. The PACT Act for veterans and survivors, right? So if you are the surviving spouse of a veteran and that veteran served in one of the specified areas identified by the PACT Act, you could just, I'll put it in the description of this video. If they served in one of those areas and passed away of one of the conditions listed or one of the conditions listed is a contributing cause to death or if the veteran was already service connected and they passed away from one of those conditions previous to the PACT Act or they passed away um, and, and one of those service connected conditions that they already have were or could be uh, a contributing cause to death which you can get added on to the death certificate. Very important, you should file ASAP. Now for dependency indemnity compensation, which is a survivor's benefit, and it'll pay on anywhere from about $1,500 a month all the way up to $3,000 a month, depending on dependents and all that type of stuff. There's also other qualifiers. Uh, if a veteran uh, has been rated 100% for 10 years, and then the veteran passes away, from anything, doesn't have to be service connected at all, uh, you as the surviving spouse could be eligible for dependency indemnity compensation. Again, paying out $1,500 to $3,000 a month-ish, um, depending on different factors. You as the veteran, super important. This gives you the opportunity to apply for, and look, even if you don't have one of these conditions today, but you served in one of those locations, sign up with the intent to file, get that in place, uh, submit that intent to file so you are squared away in the event that something pops up in the next year. Better safe than sorry, have it in place. If you do have something and you haven't filed yet, if your claim is not ready to file today, file an intent to file and cover your butt. Biggest piece of advice that I could give. So with that, we'll go ahead and cut it there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, Something went wrong.